Hey guys, welcome back to Fast Fix. In this video, I will show you how to create login page in Google Sites. So first, open your web browser and just go right here on sites.google.com. Now here on sites, want to go right here and start a new site. So just click this plus icon right here to create a new site. So as you can see here on your screen, now as you can see, I have only one page here. So if I want to add some page right here, so I want to go and click this page button right here, the right side of your screen. So for example, I want to click on add a new page right here and I uh, want to name this as members. So click on done. So as you can see, I have two pages here, the home and the members page right here. So then for example, if you want to create a text box right here, so I just want to click this insert button right here or insert option beside the pages uh, tab. And right here, uh, click on text box. And for example, I want to write here, welcome to our community. And then once you've done, you just enter this one. And as you can see, I have entered a text. Now, if you want to create a login page, so you need to go right here on Authenticator Pro or Auth Pro, as you can see here, the uh, main page of the authpro.com. Now let's get start to use this one. So scroll down and click this free out pro account, then click on sign up and here new account sign up. So we just want to click this. I want to use setup wizard to configure my account now. So click continue. And then here on new account sign up, you need to complete the details, username, password, confirm password, email, website title, website URL. So just complete all the details right here. And then here on website title, for example, I just want to put a uh, sample website. So for here, for example, and then here on website URL, if you want to find that website URL, so you need to go back to Google site. And from here on Google site, all you need to do is click on this publish button right here at the top right. And here, published to the web, as you can see, you can create your own web URL. For example, here, sites.google.com slash view slash sample website 18. So this will be your website URL. So just click on publish. So we just need to copy that link there and just uh, view this website. So we just copy that link at the top. And then once you copy this one, let's go back to Auth Pro. So go back here and just paste the website URL. And then once you've done right here, all you need to do is just click on this create account at the bottom of your screen. And once you click on this one, you will go here on this next page. So you can see proceed to set up wizard. So click on this button here. Now you will go here on this page as you can see. A new member registration option. So I just want to click on this. I want members to register for free and access my members area. So just click on this next button right here. Now you will go on the next page. So as you can see here, a registration or edit profile form. So you can create a title, name, email, username, password, or verify password. So for example, uh, you have this field right here and once you've done just click on this next button now here on this next page as you can see configure urls and then here you need to enter your members area link so as you can see this is successful login url where your members will be sent if they enter correct login or password so where can we find this members area url so you need to go back to the website where we created. So let's go here on this members here. And as you can see here, we have two page. So if we click on this home page right here, for example, just want to click this home and then just click this members. So the link right here at the search box. So here is the uh, website URL. So just copy this one, just go back and just paste the link right here. And then here on field login URL, it's optional. So you can just left it blank. 
So same here on this protected page authorization field URL. So it is also optional and here on logout URL. So optional right here. Then I want to choose right here. I want to display my own website address for members area. So you just want to uh, choose this one and click this next button right here. Then you'll be directly go here on this setup wizard, add some members to your account. So for example, I just want to set this or set the username and password here. So for example, I just want to set this as admin and same with password. So I just put admin now here on email. So I just want to add a email or Gmail account. So for example, this one. So once you've done right here, click on next button right there. Now you'll be go here on this page setup wizard. So here almost finished. So as you can see, you have some forms right here. If you want to create on your website, add login form, you just uh, click that link or add registration form. It is optional. Or you want to go right here, add password reminder, edit profile and cancel membership forms or here on protect your members area pages. So right here, in order to protect your pages from an authorized access, you need to paste code below to your pages, which you want to be accessible by registered members only. So just copy this code right here and just go back here and click this embed and embed code and just paste the code right here and click on next. And here, just click on this insert button here. And then you just need to find the correct position of this uh, login page right here. So you just have to set up your login page where you want to place it on your website. Then if you want to see if this login page is functional, so let's go back to the Auth Pro website and just continue the process. So just click on this proceed to account manager. And then right here, you'll find the dashboard will you find all the accounts that log in to your website. So let's go and try if that is functional. So let's go back to your website. So here, enter your login and password. So if you scroll down here on this box and type on username admin, and then the password is admin. Then once you've done right here, click on this enter. And then if you enter your login and password or someone enter login and password. So let's just check on the dashboard if it's functional here. So let's go back to the dashboard. So as you can see here in OutPro dashboard, you'll find a one is login and one is online right now. So you can see last access and then you'll find here the date and time uh, where you actually log in their account. So as you can see one member and one online. So, and then if you scroll down, you'll find all the firms you can actually use to your website. So that's it. That's how you basically create login page in Google Sites. So if you find this video helpful, please consider to like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to notify you on the next video.